conservative movement is troubled over the ideological coloration of the new White House team. Is there any reason for them to be worried? <laughs> I'll take that up with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, some people have said they're a little concerned that you might uh, sell the conservative cause down the river with uh, raising taxes and uh, getting into an arms control agreement with the Soviets. How are you going to ease this worry? I'm not selling anybody down the river. Grew up on a river. <laughs> uh, Mr. Like President, do you feel the need to reassure the people who are here today that uh, uh, that their cause and their agenda is not going to be uh, uh, whittled down in any way? It isn't going to be whittled down. Thanks, Good morning. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Very good to see you. No, this is Dennis Healy, my colleague. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Sorry. That's right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But so I'm going to see you. Very nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice you. Shouldn't forgive me, my error. <laughs> no, no. Come in. My most sincere. Yeah. Thanks very much. Dennis, how are you? Good to see you. How are you? Good to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank 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 you. Yeah. I've seen a lot of helicopter activity here with my house. Is that your helicopters? Did you really get out of the way? Did you know that you were Not in there. It's one embarrassment, isn't it? Lots of them. Just on the street. Lights are coming. 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 Yes. If the American people need any further proof as to who is responsible for the deficit, all they have to do 
is look at this $87.5 billion budget-busting highway and transit bill passed by Congress last week. The bill is a textbook example of special interest pork barrel politics at work, and I have no choice but to veto it. In doing so, let me stress that I'm not only willing but anxious to sign a responsible bill to continue highway and transit programs, and in fact, the Secretary of Transportation, Elizabeth Dole, at my direction, has drafted legislation that addresses our most serious objections. The Congress need only pass this cleaned-up version, send it down here next week, and I'll sign the bill within the hour. I also want to reaffirm my strong support for allowing the states the authority to return to the 65-mile-an-hour speed limit. It's long past due, but I'm not going to sacrifice this country's economic well-being. And that's the issue, jobs and economic growth. It's time for me to start writing. And that is the veto on top of the bill. You're going to give the bad news to the Japanese today? Retaliation? Oh. Uh, we're... I don't know really what time we're... Are you worried that the question yesterday asked by Heather Watson took attention away from your education message? I'm that I seem to be the only one that interpreted the question correctly. I am convinced in my own mind that she asked specifically about the trouble and was the cause worth it. And I answered in that way. I was shocked and surprised to find that the other guy, he thought that the, she was just asking generally about is the whole chapter. And uh, if I'm wrong, I was wrong, but I, I believe that I answered the question. But she, as a matter of fact, I heard the word in that. Hi, how are you? Mr. President. I'd like to introduce my mother, Jackie Harbaugh. Hello yes, there. My grandmother, Jessica Oh, Hello there, it's a pleasure. Nice to see you. Yes. Why don't you come over here? All right. And why don't we have a picture date? A little bit. Look right here. Thank you, sir. Well, I used to be a sports announcer. Oh, we I know that. And I broadcast <laughs> Big Ten games. And a football player, too. Yes. yes. <laughs> and I broadcast an Iowa Michigan game one day. A fellow playing center down there from Michigan, a man, a fellow named Jerry Ford. Yeah. <laughs> that, really game did, that game did come down to the last kick, though. <laughs> I can handle oh, it. We appreciate you taking the time. Well, this is a pleas to do it. It's a pleasure. It's just, oh, I'm so excited. Oh. Really. Well, this, I have a few souvenirs here. This is for your, your father, who I understand couldn't be here today. It's a pen and pencil set. Oh, oh that's oh, wonderful. Uh, Thank right. you. And um, these are golf balls and a set of cup mix. Great. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate it. it. Well, you look terrific in person, wow. better than in the movies. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I never liked him in the movies. As a president, I did. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I'll settle for that. Thanks again, Mr. Well, President. How's everything going? I, I'm glad. I understand right that you're uh, you're looking at some more football maybe? Yeah, hopefully I'm going to wait and see what happens with the NFL draft on the 28th. Uh, and let me hope that everything will go well and just compete and do what I can. I felt that way when I got out. And, uh, I, I wish there was more football to be played. The pros weren't quite that you know, prominent then. And uh, besides, I didn't know that a figure 175 pound guard would <laughs> be attractive to them. Well, if we get back there next January after the Super Bowl and meet you again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That would be great. Hi, right, thanks again. <laughs>
No, thank you very much. It's been an honor. Thank no, you. It's a great pleasure. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care.